Hello, everybody. Uh, can you hear me? And is there forest noise in the background? for her surgery. She had quite the um, well-used uterus. Um, I started a new Facebook page on a whim called Tiny Tapeworms. If you guys want to see the, some of the medical photos. Uh, so there is a photo of her uterus and of her tail wounds and things like that. So um, I didn't stuff that I don't want to post on tiny kittens because most people don't want to see stuff like that but for those who are interested um, for those who are interested um, sorry just reading a text <laughs> um, you guys can uh, check it out and there's always interesting stuff but it probably will be you know worms and poop and pus and wounds and uteruses, stuff like that. So tiny tapeworms on Facebook. Um, but anyway, we'll see how she's doing. Let's see how she's doing. She's a good girl. Hi. How are you feeling? She had a big day today. So luckily, Also, yes, Holly Bell also has a page now, which is exciting. It's called Holly Bell. Um, so let's see how she's doing. So uh, she's had many a kitten, many kittens, but no more kittens. Although, um, I, and, and her tail uh, did look like it was broken but is healing and um, she still has movement and tone in the end of her tail, which means they didn't have to do anything surgically with it. Uh, and also the wounds, her abscess, she had infected wounds, which had abscessed and um, they were looking really good also. So uh, they were able to give her an antibiotic injection, which will work for the next 14 days which should really help her tail and um, I will continue to monitor that and her spay incision and she'll stay here till she's feeling better and then most likely be returned it's very sweet 
I could tell uh, as of yesterday evening she was starting to feel better and uh, starting to feel less stressed because she is, was starting to get less shut down and the last time I came in she actually hissed and swatted at me when I approached her which I think is a really good sign that she is that her, her stress level is much lower than it was when she first got here so that is good that's very good so I will be giving pain meds for the next three days at least we'll see how things are doing uh, when when uteruses are so well used they are much more complicated and much more um, complicated surgery because you have to have all the blood vessels and the infrastructure to support a giant uterus and so uh, the recovery is probably going to be a little slower but she's here where she has lots of food and it's warm and dry and comfy and she'll get pain meds and we'll make sure that her tail continues to heal and so she should be feeling much much better Good job. Good job, little schmuffins. so cute so anyway very good very good news for her that she was not pregnant we did do an ultrasound this morning just to confirm and then um, when the uterus came out it was very clearly empty which is wonderful and um, that means we can do better antibiotics and we can do pain meds and she won't have to be here and have babies and go through all that all that she gets to go back and start her carefree baby free life much sooner so we're, we're very excited about that um, and I was extremely relieved that we will we're back to having only three only three feral moms to be here um, which is too many but not as too many as four <laughs> right yeah so if she couldn't move the end of her tail then then she would probably need um, par partial amputation or some sort of surgical uh, fix for her tail but um, kind of like Tiger Buffy how his tail was broken in two places and healed on its own and was fine seems like it was something uh, similar to that so she's very lucky um, it's just we're earlier in the healing process obviously with her um, but he's so cute so you can see photos of the tail on tiny tapeworms so it was another big day for her but and a, a good day for her but she probably doesn't feel that way so she oh sorry sorry did I startle you mean it I'm just leaving her face covered so that she feels a little safer. There's her ear that was very cute. So I'm expecting that she will be happiest being returned. Um, 
she's just had such a stressful couple of weeks. I think it would take her a long time to recover from being so stressed um, and, and having interactions with humans um, in a stressful environment leave negative associations so I think it would take a long time to try to reverse that um, and so I think just letting her heal and obviously I'll continue oh that was a big sigh that's nice I'll continue to interact with her and see if I feel like there's some potential but I suspect that she's had such a rough couple of weeks that um, she's not going to really be capable of having positive interactions on top of all the healing that she needs to do. So we will do pain meds and monitoring and just keep it quiet in this room and she and Savina can commiserate. Put you guys back over. I just wanted you to see Fairy and see that she's okay and see how beautiful she looks without her uterus. I'm sure she's not interested in food right now, but um, I will have food out for her. You don't mind it, do you? You just want to go away. Okay. Oh, and there's her little tail. There's her little tail. We've got some cleanup to do in here. switch back over. Uh, Fairy is, I would call her a, a ticked classic tabby. She, do, she doesn't have the same um, clear pattern as Neelix does, but she is, her pattern is classic because it's swirls, but she also is ticked. And she is a tuxedo, yes. She's very cute. I'll switch you back over to Catermelon Cam. I don't know when babies are coming, but I can't imagine it would be too much longer. Um, I think she's fighting it, but eventually she will lose the battle. So I'm hoping that at some point. Soon. It would be nice if she had them soonish. So here we go. 